Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Mixed up a bit too much resin. Oh, oh well, I'm just going to sit here and take my time talk to you guys. Anyone else got any exciting projects going on? Send some pictures to our website, man. If you're making videos, put make some been making some videos. Make some videos. Post them as a reply on one of mine. I'll put it in my favorite so everyone can see it. Come on, don't be shy. We want to see y'all's projects too. You can do it B1 Bob style. It's alright. <laughs> I don't care. We need more people making videos of airplane builds. Show us what you got. This is both my layers at the same time. See the light spots? We just want to make sure we don't end up with none of them. So let's put it on a little bit on the heavy side. Just let her soak in, and then we'll scrape off for excess. How does that sound? Oh, <laughs> got a lot of people asking about the cougar. Oh, John says I gave it to him. He had to take off and to uh, Beaver Lake for a week. His wife's family all meets down there. The hottest part of the year. <laughs> And they all go sit in their cameras. <laughs> but, you know, Char puts up with John, so he's got to do what she wants on the vacation. But back to the cougar. Uh, he's got to buy a turbine yet. I mean, he did spend all his money. He had to do a bunch of work to his truck while he was gone. And, he put his truck in the shop while he was gone because he needs it for his work. But he's going to buy a turbine this month. He wants to buy one of them black mambas from DreamWorks. 30 pounder. Uh, $2,600 lifetime warranty. Man, how can you beat that? Lifetime warranty. A 30 pounder, $2,600. It's a good price too. And they taught at DreamWork, repairs them right there. I guess he's getting into the repair end of it. So they won't need to be sent nowhere. time with this resin. Let it all seep in. Soak into that glass. Still getting people asking me about the bomber every day. That's alright. I think we got a lot of fans that just pop in every now and then and on the bomber so they all every one of them got to ask where it's at oh and by the way where I'm keeping it is in uh, John's got a big garage that sits empty and I got it over there and it's nice and safe I just needed the space to do these couple little jobs you guys know, don't give up on me that bomber's going to fly just to you know, I have pretty much drained the old savings account working on that thing. It takes a lot of money, a project like that. It's, people don't realize just how much money I've really spent on that airplane. Butch and his time. And we ain't a 
about to give up on that thing. Which has got them, my wing part's just about cut. He's got a couple more things to cut, but him and Paul's kind of working on a paying project for them, and you know, he's got a family to feed. I'm just happy little camper when he when he does get him and he will you know I can't do nothing without him so you know I know I could do a little bit to that bomber while I was waiting but not much and I need to make some cash too so Plus, I like this Thunder Chief. I like to have one of these myself. You know, people asking about kits. Yep, we are going to sell kits, people. That's kind of the plan, but we don't want anything until the project's finished. You know, we don't want anyone sore at us or anything like that because it took too long. Or You just never know, you know. We don't want no one mad at us, so if you want one of these things, just sit back and watch. I'm going to build a prototype. It's going to be simple, you know. Just pretty simple. And get it in the air as quick as we can. And Then maybe Paul's will be more scale, but I want, I kind of want the prototype just to be real simple, not spend a long time building it, just slap one together, slap a camo paint job on it, and go fly it, man, you know, before we spend a long time building on one model and making it super scale and I think that'd be the smarter way to go about it myself don't y'all think but yeah and it is gonna we're gonna make the, I'm gonna make the back come off just because the same place the real one came apart I'm just gonna put a part and plane on that plug then we can just, uh, I can just put a piece of plastic behind that part and plane and make a nice flange that, you know, will bolt together. And the nose is going to come off and batteries have to come up in the nose. You know how I make them flanges on the nose. sell feet, they'll sell any amount of glass cloth you want, but pill ply you got to buy a whole roll of it. A whole roll of pill ply is like $1,400. So I got to order that someplace else online to where Butch gets his or something. But when I was building on the bomber I just needed, I ran out, needed just a little bit so I just went down to cloth world and got some rip stop. You know, just a few yards to shoot it's lasted me a long time. That's about the same price too. Three dollars a yard. <laughs> 